don't know what this guy's doing. He's pulling over his car and won't leave us alone. All right, even the police are pulling over now and trying to join in. This is so bad. I've never seen something so bad in my life. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband, Ben. Thailand! at the moment but it does fill up so make sure you get it obviously we're getting on at the first station it will fill up as we go but yeah it's pretty uh, pretty empty at the moment just get there early and get your tickets don't do what we've done get there five minutes before and then get your tickets So it is 11.20, we've just arrived at Bang Kong Luk border to Cambodia. Passport control, that's what we want to go to don't we? Okay, so as soon as you get off the train, there is a sign that's saying departure. We're following that. So now we've got to leave Thailand first. <laughs> All right, we're finally officially across the border. It was actually a lot easier than we thought it would be. First of all, we had to go to the Thai immigration office, get ourselves stamped out, and then we're officially in no country. Walked across, make sure you go up the escalators. We walked straight past it and everyone's going, no, no, that way. So make sure you go up there, easy peasy. After that, you just follow everyone around and you go into the Cambodia border crossing. Don't go straight forward unless you're Cambodian, otherwise go up the stairs to your right and then go in there. And if you go to your left, there's loads of officers and they'll give you a card. You need to fill out that, give it back to them and you've got to pay $30 for your visa and the bribe. And the bribe, yeah. What, what happened is 
we were told do not pay the bribe don't pay the bribe but then we did get told it was more than that yeah but you've got to pay the bribe because they just won't they just you... stood there and stared at us yeah so we just thought well, all right we're not going to get let in 30 dollars and 100 rupees and we were like what's 100 rupees from pretty much just mumbled some words at us we have no idea what he was saying and we're like well we've got no more cash and he just stood there and stared at us for ages and we're like oh let's just pay it yeah so we paid it which is a bit annoying because we were like set on yeah. not doing any of these things but, but the thing was that's the everyone, only thing. everyone was paying it so yeah. it wasn't like we were the odd ones out so after that you go in a queue and you go through it was so easy we got um, a sticker in our passport so our passport's getting pretty full yeah they're getting full but we're in absolutely easy um as soon as you get through obviously every country get it tuk tuk yeah. car taxi um any of these things obviously hello so literally as you cross the border this sort of puppet which is this uh, city here it's a bit like a little mini vegas it's full of casinos and stuff obviously not really lit up so much so literally as you walk out the border there's one there so casinos everywhere Okay, so we're across the border and um, we went straight to the 7-Eleven. It's about a 10 minute walk from the border crossing. Got ourselves some SIM cards, $6 each. So we're set up for a month. We are officially millionaires. We've just withdrawn 1 million Cambodia real. Which is not a lot of money, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to the free bus. Yes. bus. <laughs> Look, free, welcome to the free shuttle bus station. Hello. Well, we've decided to walk away from the free shuttle because we feel like there's more to that. We they, sat there for an hour and they still tried again, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they would have definitely scammed us, so they, they would have took us somewhere. Yeah. Actually, I, did, I read online that they take you to the bus station, it ends up being more expensive, and then you end up not getting dropped off at your place. Yeah. Getting dropped off at a tuk-tuk station, and then you've got Jumping your tuk -tuk. To Yeah, I read that. So, I'm not, we're going to try and head a little bit further and get a local bus. Yeah, we're just blagging it. As we told we're, you, we're doing this to show you how to do it. Don't yeah. do the free shuttle, I think that's part of a scam as well. I think where it's not busy enough, they're not really running that scam, they're trying another one now. Yeah. I'm not sure. Ben, don't get Larry, just say no. I'll work. Why I work? Okay. Okay, we'll be okay. Don't worry, my whole room is up to you. I don't want to lift. Our friends, okay. we've got friends coming. We've got our friends. No friend, huh? Yeah. Go with your friend, I can't take you there. No. Go with your friend, mother. No, thank you. What are you doing? I'm with you. I hope you're um, I don't know what no, this guy's you. doing. He's pulling over his car. I might leave us alone. Hello, can I help you? Hello. We're just going to the bus station. Hey, where do you want to go? The bus station. Uh, now? Now, bus station? Yeah. Uh, we are not working now. Put in? The bus station not working now. Because they closed before the... the Man, uh, COVID no, local bus. Local, local bus. bus. Where you go? Where you go? Siem Reap. Siem Reap. Siem Reap. We have bus over there. Bus. No, Start take, from the. Takes the, too long. The corner. No, we're, we're just, we're just we're going to there. What? We're just going to the one up there. No, have bus to Siem Reap in the bus station now. How much you want to pay for the bus? Look for bus. Like. $5, how much it is? Now, no help. Yeah. So there is bus. <laughs> they have bus. They have bus. Yeah. They have bus. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so bad. Yeah. All right, even the police are pulling over now and trying to join in. This is so bad. <laughs> I've never seen something so bad in my life. They're trying to tell us there's no buses. No buses at all. So, uh, yeah, lo local buses. Like, how does locals get around if there's no buses? I'll walk there. Yeah. Take me two days, I'll walk there. I don't care, I'm not getting ripped off. The thing it's is, a joke. The thing is, right, so a local needs to go see and read. So what do they do? Yeah, you tell me a local pays that much. They're trying to make us go on the more expensive bus, which is $9. I can't believe the police pulled over and joined in. We, we ain't got money. We have to sleep here. Okay. We can't afford it. We found Kath Amson, so we're going to go in here and regroup and try and suss out how we're getting to see Amri because we're getting wound up now. For a month, so we'll just do whatever. Okay. Then, we're going to, then we're going to Vietnam. Ah. Oh. Well, that 
was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Um, my legs are dead. I've had about 15 people like lean on them. <laughs> Leg one? Yeah. Me? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, it's all good. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. I hear you, I hear you now. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Are you Mr. Andrew, right? Yeah, Rian Andrew, my wife, yeah. So the taxi's just dropped us off. This is our villa for the next week. We've booked an accommodation for the week to stay here and sort of life out as normal, but we finally made it here. Um, we got the taxi in the end, I can't remember if we said, for $20. Um, it was qu quite long ride, it was over three hours, but it was the most uncomfortable three hours of my life. I'll tell you that now. But first of all, before we show you anything, we need to go and get food. And Ben's got silly trainers on, so we don't want to take them off. So we're going to go straight out. That's it. Bye, Ben. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, no, chicken. Hello. Two of them, I think. Two of these? Yeah. Two? Yeah. Two of these. And... What do you want? This one. This one as well. Thank you. So if we haven't said already, we're spending the next seven days in Sion Reap. And this is our villa for the next seven days, as Ben said. Um, we'll show you around properly, but it's probably going to be the next video now because we're going to end today here because it has been a lot of information I think you lot are going to hold. So it's going to be a new day. So we just popped out, got some food and drinks in, some snacks. It was about 21,000. Also on like the main street just from our place, there was some street food. And that was super cheap as well. So for, for the two meals, it was 5,000 each, so 10,000. So the noodles, egg, um, mine's got chicken in it, he's got crab and chicken. Yeah. Um, and then we went up a bit further and got some grilled chicken. Uh, I think my skewer is a grilled chicken, I'm not really sure, just pointed at him. And that was 9,700. So everything's super cheap here. We got dinner for like, under five dollars i'm pretty certain mm. my maths might be completely wrong and it's been a long day but it's about i think it's about nine o'clock now so we're going to end it here enjoy our dinner watch a movie and go to bed subscribe heading to bangkok we're in the bank oh, are you sure you don't want me to come down oh, do you want to show me literally and as you walk out the board bleh. Literally, as you walk out the... Oh, I can't speak. Right, so we haven't said already, we are spending the next seven days in Siem Reap. Is that it? So, if we haven't said already, we're just spent... Um, should we say that in their money or not? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just want to eat my food. Of course not. Of course not.